short track course then here in Mont Saint Anne, Quebec. Just under a kilometer in length and definitely one of the fastest of the year. High speed throughout, twists around a 180 degree bend and heads back to the start finish. Big long tarmac drag strip. It's green for go in Mont Saint Anne. Jordan Saru, superb start. Schwarzbach to his left hand side alongside him. That's Griot on the right hand yeah, side, actually. Shield. Absolutely oh. great start from Griot, the Frenchman. Alan Hatterley, the Cannondale rider, also a good start he had. He won the title last year. Look at the speed of them up there, Bart. Yeah, and especially for these riders. They know exactly that uh, here uh, Vlad Daskalou could, uh, could start. Trek Factory races, Vlad Daskalou in the national champion's colours of Romania alongside Schwarzbach. Schwarzbach Nino Schurter. Nino Schurter, also a good start. And he knows these points, they, call, they also count for the XCO standings. Last corner, it's uh, uh, not the last corner, but that corner before the tech uh, feed zone, it's very slippery, there's some loose sand in, the, in that corner. And it's now to bow. Right. bow. Yeah. It's now to bow to the front. Get the Goretzky behind him, and another French rider on third, Jordan Saru. Bart, whenever you head into a race like this with a massive lead in the points like Lucas Schwartzbauer has. Is it is this the right race for him? Is it easy to overthink it and just sort of relax or yeah. be too aggressive to try and win it? This, this time to relax, but of course it's a World Cup and all these uh, riders, they like to win a World Cup, but it doesn't matter if it's a single. And that's the same for Lucas Schwartzbauer. He likes to show his strengths. He likes to ride this discipline. He'd he's like to win. A, he's almost a specialist in short track racing. Christopher Blevins has just rejoined the front of this Whoa, race yeah. after being only a couple of laps to go. So Blevins. The US champion with the number 33 on his back. Yeah, Pitcock still in 13th by my screen in the booth. Schwarzbart takes a check over his left hand shoulder, sees Victor Koretska. Nino Schurter's on his right hand side. Yeah, Martin Vidauer, and now we have Tom Pitcock. Schwarzbart railing around the right-hander, back up the hill again, out of the saddle, starting to work a bit harder now, the German. Yeah, the pace will go up very quickly. It'll be a, a, lo a long sprint. Yeah, he's taking the lead. Victor Koretsky, Christopher Blevins, he's going with him. Jordan Saru. Koretsky attacks, then it's Blevins. Blevins looking really strong. Specialized factory racing, one, two at the minute. Saru looking like he's struggling to stay with this one. But look at Victor Koretsky. Koretsky Accelerating. wants another win. But don't forget Christopher Blavis, he's strong when it comes down to a sprint. Koretsky wants to make it a hat trick of short track wins to finish the 2023 season. The pack getting really Can strong right now. It? This might be the move. Victor Koretsky rockets around the right hander. It looks like he's going to take the hat trick. This won't change things in the short track overall title. It is still very much Lucas Schwarzbar, who's in sixth position at the minute to lose, but Viktor Koretsky makes it a hat-trick of short track wins in a row. Viktor Koretsky takes the win at Mont saint -Anne. Saru behind him, Blevins celebrates third. Tom then Pitcock it's Tom Pidcock. Viktor Koretsky with the hat-trick. What a way to finish your season. You look quite emotional. How are you feeling? How, what's going through your mind right now? Yeah, for sure it's really emotional. Because, uh, like you say, the beginning of the season was not so good for me. And now I'm in good shape and I just I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoy to, to ride on the front. And it's amazing to fight uh, like today uh, with strong guys. I think it, it was really tactical till the end. And yeah, I love race like this because uh, till the, the last lap, you never know who, who can win. And for, for people on the side, it's amazing. And yeah, I really enjoyed this one, this win, sorry. And yeah, three, three uh, XCC in a row. It's just perfect for me. And I just uh, enjoy and, and I say thanks to, to my team and uh, also my family because they give me they give me a lot of support and it's a it's a good way recompense for for all uh, of my family schwartz bar is your uci world cup overall title winner koretsky takes the race ahead of saru blevins pedcock scherter vidare schwartz bar aldridge shermans and flukiger in the top 10. haverley brido blooms holmgren 
Forster, Dascalu, Guarini, Griot, De Fuamont, Dascalu, so strong over the first lap and a half, two laps here, but couldn't quite capitalize on it. Finish Joshua, Debeau, Sherman, Scherter, Koretsky, Flukiger, Haverly, Blooms, and Barido are your overall. After that, it was Forster, Dascalu, Griot, Dufoamont, Aldridge, Blevins, Albon, Finney Carstensen, and Daniele Brido. Five wins in the last six top flight appearances for Victor Koretsky. Specialized factory racing. Koretsky, Saru, and Blevins. On the short track, UCI World Cup cross country podium here in Monsignor, Quebec.